Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 review and today we'll do another episode of checking out one of your guys' solar systems but before we get into that guys just a quick thank you as we hit 7,500 subscribers today so yeah just a huge huge thanks for that because wow <laughs> it's come up pretty quickly I mean it's only 7,000 what like a month ago less than that I'm not entirely sure but yeah just absolutely insane with the growth at the moment just the way things are going so yeah just a massive massive thank you yeah it was only um it was only two weeks ago that I did the part two for the 7,000 subscriber special. So, yeah, we, that's crazy how quick things have gone. We're already halfway to 8,000. So, yeah, just a massive, massive thank you for all of that, guys. But, yeah, anyways, getting into today's video, we have one system from the user QuickZay here from my Discord. Never actually seen um, that username before. I don't know if they've changed their name. But I, I've never seen that before, um, to my knowledge. Unless i got a really bad memory, which I don't think I do. So... Yeah, I've never seen that name, but yeah, um, I don't think I've got a link to their channel at all, so yeah, if, uh, if you want to let yourself be known in the comments, go ahead and I can do a link that way. But anyways, let's go into their system now. So it's called Falloc, and apparently this was their fourth attempt at sending this in, so yeah, sorry about that, but as you know, there's quite a lot of systems I um, do get. Alright, so here it is here. So let's go ahead and open it up, and let's see what we have got here. Right, ooh, okay, so what's that, black? What is that? Okay, so it's an all-black gas giant, by the way. Okay, so yeah, we'll get onto that um, a little further on. Getting a lot of ring, there's a lot of rings in here as well. Damn. Right, so right here is our main star. How many objects are in here? Five thousand. Okay, so here is the main star, obviously. So HR 1998 here, pretty big star. As we can see, luminosity's at 11 suns. We've got a ton of objects around here as well. Let's go on a little orbit just so we can see a little better. There we go. So there's the whole system there. Right. So, first planet. So, are these any of the? Are these all just okay? So they're all minor objects by the looks of it. So we'll go ahead and click on all of them. But I'm assuming they're all just little minor fragment objects. So, let's see here. Labels, just to check. Yeah, I believe they are all just the little minor objects. All right. So moving on to the first. Okay, no, so that's not it. Okay, so has sort. So this is actually the first planet then. So it's a Trace Two B lookalike, and um, with it all being blacked out, it's glowing in temperature as well. Looking pretty cool right there too so haven't seen a all blacked out object in quite a while so it's nice to see um one of these again so yeah there it is right yo so let's zoom out so where are we heading next all right so now we're going to Baro over here oh look at this i'm liking the i like the color on that so we've got like a more of a whitish sort of colored atmosphere with like this nice blue and purple color underneath giving us Oh, I do like that colour mix, actually. Oh, I, I really like that. So there it is there. There's its um, atmosphere stats as well. 499, so a pretty hot object like Venus. Right there. Okay, cool. So, right, moving out. Next up, we got this one over here. Alt Hock over here. Oh, I like that. Nice, um, more of a hot pink Venus-like atmosphere here. 300 degrees. It reflects all light it receives as well. So in theory, this should be getting colder. Got a nice set of pink rings around it as well some moons it looks like we've got an escape moon over here as well so we'll go ahead to that in a sec um yeah it looks like all of these are just little asteroids too so let's go to this guy so here it is here 400 degrees here as well I'm liking the um color underneath that too as well it's like more of a, like a reddish like a yeah dark reddish pinkish color actually um so there's that one do you like that um pink venus though <laughs> yeah this guy here this uh old hawk guy that's looking pretty cool i'm liking i do like that hot pink i have to say it's looking good um what color we got underneath it's a very dark red underneath they're looking good yeah i do like that um with the clouds here. it looks like it's tilted as well that's why the rings are all tilted rightio next up we got fitting us over here so this one's at 400 degrees as well more like a mercury in um by the looks of it though more a uh, dark colored no atmosphere anything nothing like that it doesn't reflect any light at all so this is a pretty hot one um, and it will never cool down hardly. So there's that one. Right, now moving on to the next one. So this is Herberus. Ooh, modded gas giant. Let's see. Right, so, ooh. Okay, so it goes more of an indigo, violet colour to a pink to a red. And then back up to um, indigo and violet in the top again. Oh, no, it's actually got red in the top. Okay. Ooh, like that. That's a nice um, mix of colours as well. Right, so then we have Olin, the stolen moon here. Loving the green atmosphere on that as well. Some really interesting atmosphere colours in here. 
yeah, I really like, I really like that green. It's like one of those atmospheres which is a little more white, and then as it gets to the darker area, it goes to more of a, the color changes. Like, so we'll see, in this area here, the atmosphere is white, but when you go up here, it's more of a green color. I like atmospheres that do that, have like two tone sort of colors to them. It's pretty cool um, how that can be all done with modding, but that is a very nice green, I have to say. That is, that's a nice color there, so very, very cool. And then we have the next moon out over here. This one as well got more of a purplish atmosphere in the north and south, but then in the equator area, it's more of a whitish color there. But that's looking good. I'm liking it. So there it is there. Right. Any more moons? No, I can't say that's both of those ones. Right. So now moving on to the next planet over here. This is Fluffer, Rick. And oh, I'm, I'm liking the colors on this as well. He's got some nice mix. Um, oh, nice. Um, yeah, nice blending colors here of all these different shades of green on this one. This one's looking pretty cool as well. I'm liking it. Uh, it's looking good. Like an aqua sort of sea colour. Liking that. And it's got a ton of moons as well. These are all little minor objects um, by the looks of it. We'll just quickly click through them all as well. But yeah, I believe they all are just little minor objects there. So yeah, there they are. Right. So there's that one. Right, moving on to this one over here. So this one is Pandaria. And I'm, ooh, look at this one as well. So it's gone with a very, very light pink, um, or more a, a whitish um, light pink atmosphere there with an all pink surface underneath it there. 33 degrees. This albedo's all the way up as well. So this would eventually freeze as well. So I think he definitely needs to work on a bit of the um, albedo as a bit of um, constructive criticism. And I think you probably want to turn that down a bit because if it's reflecting all of the light, eventually it would just go to zero degrees and eventually freeze all the way to the coldest temperatures. So yeah, definitely uh, don't pull it all the way up or all the way down. I definitely, I definitely want to control that a bit more because uh, obviously reflects all the light. Yeah, there you go. Reflect Reflectivity of the body from zero absorbs all to one reflects all. And obviously because it's on one, it will reflect all the light it receives, meaning it'd be pretty cold here. Like Enceladus, for instance. Um, but yeah, there we go. So moving on to this guy over here, but either way that object looks really cool. So there it is, then here is its one moon as well, so 46 degrees here, pretty small. What's the life likelihood on this object actually, let's have a little look on it. So composition, um, so 86 and 71, not bad. But yeah, that's definitely my tip, it's definitely uh, w watch that number on the albedo, you don't want to put it too high or too low. Alright, anyways. Right, moving on to the last planet of the day by the looks of it, all the way out here. So this one's actually a little colder. And this one doesn't reflect any light at all either. So this one absorbs um, all of the light. So this one is pretty crazy as well. So yeah, minus 13 degrees here. I guess in the life stats right now will be a little different. 92 and 75 though, okay. So there it is. And then it also got a few more moons in here as well. So they're all the little minor moons. All right, so I believe that is everything. Pretty nice um, little system, I have to say. So, yeah, let's get a line up all the objects here. So, there's the, obviously the star. We've got the Trace 2B like object at the beginning here. Favorite gas giant is definitely that green and aqua colored one. Oh, the rings are. Let me just go remove the rings actually just to make it run a little easier. So, let's um, yeah, go down here. Yeah, favorite gas giant 100% is that green aqua colored one. I really do like the uh, colors on there mixed together. I think they do look pretty cool. This with the pink one is cool as well, but for me, this one is the best looking one. So, there it is there. So, like an ice giant like object there. So, only it's just uh, above zero degrees, as you can see as well. Favorite rocky planet. I do have to, I really do like that one. Oh, it's a blue one? Where was this? Uh, hang on, where, where, we didn't see this. Where, where did the, where's this one located? I didn't, I didn't catch this one. Oh, I must have missed it. Okay, let's go to it now. So, yeah, it's a, it's a nice dark Neptune blue surface with a lighter blue atmosphere there, as we can see. So, that one's got um, its albedo a decent number there. And then there are its colours underneath as well. So there we go. Ooh, very dark Neptune blue colour there. Looking very, very nice as well. And a few more moons as well. Okay, so yeah, we missed one out. Sorry about that. So yeah, let's go line them all up again. So yeah, favourite rocky planet out of them all, I'd say, is probably this one. I do like the... Um, I think it looks like it's tinted a bit pink as well. Because this one... that's Yeah, I, I think that's been tinted slightly, I have to say. Because, it, yeah, it, look, it looks like it's sort of glowing pink. Like, when I move the camera, you can see it, like, reflecting pink on the water. I think that's been tinted slightly, I want to say. And then, um, let's go down to all of the other smaller ones here. So, yeah, this this hot pink, reddish coloured one, that one's pretty nice as well. But, um, and then this one as well, I did like this one too. This, like, greenish colour. That's a really cool one as well. And then, obviously, we've got all of the minor objects at the very bottom. Very big amount of those. Some glowing, some not. Obviously, the ones glowing were closer to the star there. But, yeah, there we go. So, that is it all for this system today. So, this was, yeah, the Farlock 
system. Really hope I'm pronouncing that all right. But yeah, that is that, guys. So let us know um, what you thought down below in the comments of this system as well. And also, if you want to send in your own systems, make sure to join my Discord link in the description and send them in the upload chat there. Um, so I'm getting through them all very nicely right now. The chat is open for anyone to post their stuff in there. And also, a massive thanks for Quick Zay for sending their um, system in. And yeah, look forward to the next one. But yeah, really cool system overall. Really did like um, some of the objects in here. Especially those ones I mentioned, they were the best ones, in my opinion. But yeah, guys, let us know what you think was the best as well. And yeah, that's about everything, guys. So make sure you hit a like on this video and also subscribe if you're new. Helps on the journey to 8,000 subscribers. Also, a massive thanks to 7,500 again. And yeah, make sure you all have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.